Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is my 30 week pregnancy update. Pre warn you, this is probably going to be quite whingy, moany, and <laughs> yeah, not very like, yay, this is amazing. Very, um, probably positive. So, uh, just going to apologise up front for that. And this is my 30 week pregnancy update, and I am actually 31 plus three, four today. Yeah, plus three. Um, but I wanted to update really on week 30, kind of going into week 31. Not really a lot has changed, to be honest, in the last week and a half. So I'm just going to do a 30 week one. Aside from my usual SPD, back and hip pain, sciatica, heartburn, I've um, been having <laughs> the worst mood swings, like really, really bad mood swings. Funny story. My moods have been so erratic that I actually said to Rich I wanted a divorce because he grated some cheese when I asked him to slice it. <laughs> I know, really irrational. But yeah, just a little background to the story. I can't bear cheese. I hate cheese. I can't eat it. I don't like touching it. Sorry if that offends anybody. And he wanted to grate some cheese and mix it with something. And I just... The thought of it just sent me over the edge, the fact that he was doing it in the kitchen. And he always makes a mess. So I asked him if he would mind slicing it and just having it in like a sandwich because it made less mess. And of course he didn't. So that just sent me over the edge and that warranted a divorce, apparently. Yeah, that's where we're at this week. <laughs> Sounds absolutely ridiculous now that I'm saying it out loud. I told my friend the other day and she was like, what? I was like, I know, this, this is where we're at now in the pregnancy, that we're getting divorced over sliced or grated cheese. <laughs> I assume in the end he then didn't mix the cheese with whatever he was mixing it with and he just sort of like had cheese on toast because <laughs> you can see I was on the verge that day. Honestly, we have got a lot of um, just life stress. I won't really go into it because this is a pregnancy update, but I think that is contributing to my moods. I can be really happy one minute and then an absolute emotional crying wreck the next. No one knows how to take me. I don't even know what's gonna happen with my moods. I could be sitting here right now talking to you absolutely fine and about two minutes into this video, I could be sat here sobbing. So I'm very irrational and erratic at the moment mood-wise. <laughs> From that, which is a pretty big thing, really. I have been feeling okay. I'm still sleeping okay-ish. I've noticed now I'm not waking up, like, in the middle of the night, like I was, um, and staying awake for, like, an hour or two, or getting up really early. I'm finding that um, I'm waking up just to pee, um, but I can go back to sleep pretty much straight away, so that's quite good. As well, this week I have noticed, you might not be able to tell because I have got the world's allocation of makeup on my face and hair product in my hair, but my hair has started going quite greasy on the roots again, even dry shampoo doesn't seem to be fixing it, um, it feels quite dry on the ends, and my face has been breaking out in spots and I'm feeling quite puffy and swollen, like round my nose, like, you know that nice pregnancy face where you just can look at a woman's face and go, she's pregnant, you wouldn't even have to see her belly. I feel like I'm getting to that point now. I never had it with Charlie, but I did with Elise. Like I look at photos of me a few weeks before I had her and I'm like swelling everywhere. I feel it's that bad at the moment and you may be watching thinking, her face looks fine, it looks relatively normal, but obviously when it's your own and you see it every day, you notice the little changes and. I just feel very puffy. I think um, that's mainly it. It's mainly the moods and <laughs> the erraticness. Erraticness? That word? We're going with it anyway. Just how erratic my moods have been, I would say is probably the biggest change. I felt quite, I wouldn't say low, but in all honesty, I really think it is con attributed by what is going on in our personal life, I think it's enough stress to tip anyone over the edge, let alone when you're pregnant. So I'm not really concerned that I think that I'm kind of heading down towards sort of like anxiety, depression sort of state again. I think it's pretty normal how I'm reacting, <laughs> aside from the cheese incident. 
to the situation that we're in but hopefully we will get more of an idea of what is actually going to be going on with our house move this week so that hopefully my zen can return i have got a, another growth scan coming up not next week week after i think um just to check on baby girl as i said in my previous pregnancy update my bump is measuring a little bit small they're not massively concerned at the moment they're going to see what she measures at my next midwife appointment which is in about two or three weeks time and then kind of go from there whether they want to do more scans more checks because if she follows her line they're absolutely fine with that it just might be because she's my third she's well and truly kind of tucked in there and buried um quite low down which i do feel she is quite low down and has been for the majority of my pregnancy so they said that that could contribute it but the scan would just be just to check her and she was fine at all my other scans that i've had so fingers crossed she is growing nicely now i said that i am 31 weeks but i thought i would tell you what baby um is doing at 30 weeks if you are at that point in your pregnancy and you'd like to know Two weeks your baby is about 15.7 inches long and now weighs almost three pounds about the size of a large cabbage which just seems crazy a pint and a half of amniotic fluid surrounds her but that volume will shrink as she gets bigger and takes up more room in your uterus her eyesight con continues to develop though it's not very keen even after she's born she'll keep her eyes closed for a good part of the day when she does open them she'll respond to changes in light but will have a 20 to 400 vision which means she can only make her objects a few inches away from her face you may be changing you may be feeling tired these days especially if you're having trouble sleeping you may also feel clumsier than normal which is perfectly understandable not only are you heavier but the concentration of weight in your pregnant belly causes a shift in your center of gravity plus thanks to hormonal changes your ligaments are more lax so your joints are looser which may contribute to your balance being a bit off that actually makes a lot of sense because i have found I'll get up and I'm like, oh, oh, what's happened there? Like, yeah, that like my center of gravity has like shifted and I feel like I'm gonna fall over. So that makes a lot of sense. I'll do a little bump shot as well, but this is me at 31 plus three or four, but you know, we'll just show it. I think you can see this is baby at 31 plus three or four. I can't seem to count today. So I really am quite confused as to how I am measuring a couple of weeks behind. She may have caught up now, but um, yeah, that's up. That's everything for this week's pregnancy update. I do hope you've liked it, and I'm really sorry if I've been a bit whingy and moany, and please don't think that I'm absolutely insane over the cheese story. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me. I can see my number going up and up and up and it's meaning the world to me so please do subscribe if you have enjoyed my video or any videos that you've watched of mine do leave a comment below if you can relate to anything that i've said or let me know if you're pregnant and where you're at in your pregnancy and if you found that you were quite hormonal <laughs> please let me know it's not just me <laughs> so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one